Hi folks, my name is Gorshak. Welcome back to the long dark stalker mode. Last time we barely made it alive <laughs> to this house. We stashed stuff, some stuff uh, in the car um, up the road. And now we are lacking for some perishable food, I suppose. Let's uh, leave this place and uh, check out the area around us. See what's what. <laughs> so to speak, man, I feel like a total noob again. After everything I've been through, I die so. I almost freaking die so. That looks like a frozen river or something. I wonder if all my fishing tackles are gonna be of any use around here. Probably not. Like, we had two areas with uh, fishing huts. I don't see why they'd put another one. <gasps> and this looks like a, another one of those cabins with the flag. Like an office, camp office or something. Let's see what's in here. Well, it's the good old uh, uh, cabin with a bunch of uh, nothing in it. So I'm going to loot this real quick. Wow, I was completely right. I found a can of soda in here and a can of dog food up here and absolutely nothing in the entire freaking house. The only useful thing was some water in the toilet. Nothing! Wow, suckiest place ever to loot. Let's cross the bridge and see what else is by the road. Come on. Oh, now we got a fog too. Perfect. Perfecto mundo. I don't care at this point. This is probably a bad idea, but... I bet there's some, some more, like... Yeah, there we go. Another cabin to loot. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one looks different. Wow, please let this be like that gas station. Or not. <laughs> yeah, because that would be freaking perfect, but no. Let's not make it that much fun. Yeah, I'm showing me looting this bit just because it's different. Wow. And actually has some loot. And stuff. Not that I need any of this stuff, but hey. Loot is loot. We might need it at some point. Yeah, I'm definitely a hoarder when it comes to games, especially survival games. I need to keep everything. Sometimes I don't keep exactly everything, but most of the times I will. Well, there was some nice stuff in here actually. Encumbered? Yup. Very freaking encumbered. Need to find a place to stash all this stuff ASAP. 
think there was another cabin here or something. Yep, there it is. I might take a little nap in here. Just uh, to wait out the freaking storm. Except there's nothing in here. Uh, there's even less than there was in the last one. Holy crap. Ooh, there's a rifle around. I'm gonna leave that reclaimed wood. Oh well. Not much in here. Bedroll. Four hours of daylight left. Hmm. It's kind of tough when you don't know an area. Well, there's gotta be like at least one place that's good enough to set up in, so to speak. But wow, I'm so over encumbered. Yeah, this will not freaking work. I need to stash some stuff. Be right back. Okay, so I've stashed a lot of stuff in here. Just so I can freaking move. I don't want I do not wanna um, walk that freaking slowly again. I need to explore this and I need <sighs> Are you kidding me? Let's just freaking go on and hope for the best. Not that I can see much, but at least I can follow the road. I'm guessing that least leads to something which I can't freaking see right now, but let's see. Yeah, this is most definitely unpleasant valley so far. <laughs> <sighs> It is the toughest place to live off the ground. You know what? I'm not even gonna loot that. And there's another snow road going over there. Need to hunt or fish or something. That kind of looks like a frozen lake. Or maybe not, it's not just wish it was there are frozen rivers but I don't think we can fish here <gasps> I really hope I can somebody knows and I don't find it in this episode please let me know if I can do fishing in Pleasant Valley Because I really want to try and get that achievement. I mean, it would be easy to uh, go back and like f do fishing for 25 days in the coastal highway, but that would be boring. I can always do it after I'm done here. But I at least want to try. And we're getting to a point where we'll, we're really hungry. And now there's supposed to be a bunch of wolf. I am They're playing stalker me. mode. I'll just put this back. Keep this. Um, we, we are playing stalker mode when we're supposed to have a ton of wolves everywhere. We aren't getting any. Because if one came out of nowhere right now, I freaking shoot them. I'm guessing there's a, some sort of farmhouse beyond that fence. Somewhere. But I'm not... Huh. 
Well, I did find the farmhouse when I was here last, and it was, I think, in this direction. Like, if you go diagonally like that from the fence. Pretty sure, but I might be really freaking wrong now. There are a bunch of hay bales at least. So I may be getting somewhere. <laughs> I'm super hungry, I'm not tired. I'm a little bit thirsty. I can do something about and unless I find some and I thought I saw cat stalks or something by that river should have grabbed those those are natural food and yeah I was totally wrong about the farmhouse it seems but maybe not there is something over here <sighs> There we go. The freaking farmhouse. Or not. <laughs> you know, whatever. Or it's the freaking barn. Ooh. There's some wood over there. Well, I can carry this. It's cool. It's cool, brah. Could spend the night in here. Condition 31. That, I, I forgot about that. Crap. I do not want to meet a wolf. Right now. <sighs> oh man, this is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. Run around in the freaking fog. And look. Just as about, I'm about to give up hope, <laughs> I find, find a freaking farmhouse. Okay, well, looks like we're not going to be uh, starting our... Uh, let's uh, feed off the land thing yet. Because I'm really, really freaking hungry. And I need to eat in order to heal up. Starving now. Yeah. It's gotta be done. It is garbage. I just don't get like uh, why I haven't earned that achievement yet because it feels like I've been eating nothing but uh, freaking wolf meat and fish lately. Huh. Can open the hood. Didn't know that. I could use this. So, there's no trunk, but beef jerky, water, come on, give me keys, let me drive out of here, <laughs> yeah, I've been here, um, yeah, so this is the place I found last time I was uh, here. This is basically the only place I found, I think. It was the same story as this time, run around in the freaking storm it was the last time, it wasn't fog. Uh, get lost and stuff. Almost die. End up in the farmhouse. Which looks like the next place I'm gonna use as a base. <laughs> At least in Pleasant Valley. Uh, it doesn't have a bed, but 
I can sleep in the car, so it's the same thing. Um, so yeah, it does have a bed, actually. <laughs> uh, the car is the bed. And it has a workbench. And lots of lots of drawers and lockers, which is perfect. This will be our uh, workroom. Bunch of lockers and drawers and that to stash our stuff. And down there, it's a fire barrel where we can uh, keep our uh, meat and stuff, whatever we find. Not much storage space down here, but well, there's that. Or we can just throw shit on the ground. We'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna stash some stuff here and then be back. Okay. Trying to get my condition up to um, 100%. And sleeping away the cold morning. And yeah, this car is like awesome for sleeping. Just like a freaking bed. So yeah, this is this is a great area. I've stashed some stuff up there, so I'm not carrying that much. So um, I'm heading out and bringing all the stuff here. I think from uh, both the car and that house. So, so let's see what's around here. Not that we can actually see. Not much it seems. Um, unless I'm completely off. The road went like that. Or something. So uh, the end of the road should be this way, I think. But even if it's not, I don't really care. I'm not encumbered. I have my gun. I have some uh, two cans of food, dog food, and some wa and a lot of water with me actually. And I think there are cat stocks here. Man, I wish there was like you could. You sh I mean. Logically, you should be able to chop a hole in the ice anywhere. But no. I guess you cannot. Oh, please let there be a lake or something. Yeah, I don't think we're that lucky. over there there's a deer but I don't think I want to waste a bullet on a deer I should I need fresh meat but I don't want to I'd rather save them for the wolf speaking of wolves holy crap it's been a long time since I've seen one there it is Great, now this is a great opportunity to get a lot of meat, if I do things right, and actually hit the wolf. There's another one. Now let's uh, shoot them both. And now I'll scare that one away. Hmm. Wonder if it'll come back. Probably will. But what's for?
forge two soft wood. Just in case it gets too close. I could even start that fire with a magnifying glass. I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna gather this meat and head back to the farm, cook it and all that. And by the way, <laughs> 9 kilograms of meat. Just wanted to show that. Yeah, he came after all. And the storm came as well. So... I don't know how long I'll be staying here. Depends on if the storm... Uh, kills my... Uh, fire, I suppose. And it hasn't yet, it seems. I have 15 minutes, 14 minutes of fire. How long will it take me to get a piece of hardwood? 18. I'll just add this and then forage more hardwood. And of course, another freaking wolf while I'm trying to skin that one. Just when I was complaining that there are no wolves anywhere, I get freaking bombarded by them. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to abandon those two. But just so what last time happened to me doesn't happen again. Like they, they, the two wolves disappeared on me when I didn't touch them, you know, like I didn't even take anything off them and they freaking disappear. Just so that doesn't happen again, I'm gonna harvest a little bit and then go sleep and stuff. It's dusk. So night can't be far behind. And come back if I can find my way to the farmhouse again. Now I forgot which way, but this is some sort of road, right? And I don't have any flares. So I'll have to rely on meat scraps. And I thought I saw something run by over there. But yeah. I am going to end the episode as soon as we uh, go back to the farmhouse. Here's the bridge. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have a lot of fun looking for it, but that must be it over there. Yeah, I thought like it, there must be some sort of a lo road leading to it. Right? Yeah, that's it. Right there. You know, back in the day, YouTube videos used to be darker than the actual gameplay, like, than uh, when you're playing the game, but now it seems to be the other way around. Like, I have a really hard time seeing in the dark, but when I watch the video on YouTube afterwards, it's super bright. So, I guess that's great. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!